What's up guys, Sam here, welcome to Tech Today TV. The presentation of the new Xiaomi 13 series is fast approaching, although we know that it will already happen on December 11th, which is tomorrow. The models will also be interesting with their back walls, because the manufacturer will put on a leather surface. Most manufacturers use glass with a glossy or matte surface, plastic, aluminum, or, in rare cases, ceramics for the back of the smartphone. The leather surface is something completely new. According to the official preview, the Xiaomi 13 series will feature new technology NanoSkin. This is a new material that Xiaomi uses for the back panel of its premium devices. Basically, NanoSkin technology makes cleaning the device easier, as the surface is more resistant to dust and paint. All dirt can thus be wiped off the back cover much more easily, with the help of an ordinary paper towel. In this way, Xiaomi wants to make your new smartphone look like new for as long as possible. In addition, Xiaomi has published another video showing the premium design of the more powerful Xiaomi 13 Pro model in all its glory, even in high resolution. It is presented as having water and dust resistance, what finally will ensure IP68 certification which Xiaomi fans have been calling for for many years. The base model Xiaomi 13 will come with a flat 636-inch Full HD AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate. The 13 Pro model, on the other hand, is slightly curved 673-inch AMOLED display with 2K resolution and the same refresh rate. Xiaomi 13 and 13 Pro will be equipped with the current best processor Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, RAM memory type LPDDR5X, and UFS 4.0 storage. The Pro model will have the main 1 1-inch 50-megapixel Sony IMX989 camera. The base model will include 4MA battery, together with 67-watt wired charging, and the 13 Pro model will have a battery 4MA battery, together with up to 820-watt charging. However, that will not be all, and Xiaomi will present several other products. We expect a pair of confirmed smartphones Xiaomi 13 and Xiaomi 13 Pro, new superstructure MIUI 14, smartwatch, Xiaomi Watch S2, headphones Buds 4, and the first desktop computer of this Chinese manufacturer. It is possible that Xiaomi has something more up its sleeve. The night photos functionality is absent in the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Most of the affordable Xiaomi phones come with the IP53 certification, which protects them from mild dust and sprinkling water. The IP68 rating provides much more resistance and safety for the device from water and dust damage. The Xiaomi 13 Pro offers up to 12 GB of RAM capacity as well. It is powered by the flagship Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. The signature wilderness green color of the smartphone is part of a package that includes the Mi Watch S2 and the Buds 4 Pro. Both smart wearables also come with the same color design as the smartphone. The Xiaomi 13 Pro will be available in limited quantity, and the package includes a protective travel case with a lanyard for the wrist. The IP rating, however, needs to be certified by the regulator before it can be used in the advertisement of devices. The International Electrotechnical Commission IEC, is the granting organization for such certifications. Xiaomi tries to position its phones as being champions for photography and videography, but the lack of a telephoto lens really hampers their chops in these departments. Telephoto lenses are generally used for zoom photography, but they're also great because they create a more attractive depth effect and also let you close the distance to subjects without having to move. Both these reasons are just as important for filming as they are for photographing. While Xiaomi sometimes packs telephoto lenses in its top-end phones, the standard Xiaomi 12 didn't get one, and the Lite and T versions usually don't either. But we'd like to see Xiaomi commit to more widespread use of zoom lenses to really give its phones a chance at competing with the Samsung Galaxy S series. How do you like leather surfaces on smartphones? Are you more of a supporter of glass or another material? Let us know in the comments below.